So I recently had to replace the water heater and after deliberating for a while on do I get a tankless or a tanked, I went with the tanked water heater, but we we're tired of running water and wasting water, waiting for it to get hot at our furthest point, which happens to be our master bathroom, the master bathroom sink. Now for recirculation, we don't have a dedicated line. So I looked at other options and one that was recommended by the plumber was the Grunfos comfort system. So bottom line, we had it installed by EK Coggin Plumbing and they sent out master technician Joey who did a wonderful job. So props out to both that company and Joey for his uh, fine work. We're definitely happy with the performance of the Grimfo system. I'll get into details later, but you can see here is a shot of the uh, comfort valve that's installed underneath our sink. Very small, fits right in. It comes with a couple of the uh, lines that, that uh, connect. So easy install. And again, the beauty is you don't have to have a dedicated line to get a recirculation for your hot water. Okay, now one of my favorite things to do, analyze the situation. So what I did is I was trying to figure out, do I really need a timer that's going to have it run for God knows how long, how many hours a day? And I don't know when I'm taking a shower, so I can't really say, well, run from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. I mean, that's just seems to me wear and tear on the pump and excess electricity use. So after days of analysis, this was the data I came up with. Now, I didn't use a thermometer, but I put my hand in the water and I was trying to figure out, not that it's warm, but when is it hot? Like a uh, good hot shower type hot. Started with the sink with no pump running, 65 seconds it took for hot water to come out of the sink. Um, using the shower in the master bathroom without the pump, it took two minutes and 15 seconds on average to become hot. So this is when I really started thinking, how long do I need the pump to run before I get in the shower? Can it work five minutes and hop in the shower and have a nice toasty shower in a few seconds? Or would it take 15 minutes or 30 minutes? So after the analysis, uh, I think 15 minutes is a really good shot. 10 minutes works pretty good as you can see here. 15 really seemed to be the sweet spot though with only two seconds in hot water is coming out of the sink and you know about an average of 30 seconds for the shower with the low flow head. So the comfort system, I'd say, is definitely a keeper. Now, I'm breaking it down. Timer. What the heck do I do with the timer? Let's talk about that a little bit. It was timer that came with the whole comfort setup, and I decided not to use it because I wanted something a little more, um, I'll call it reliable and more economical, you know, easier to use remotely instead of uh, setting a timer to come on, go on and off throughout the different times of the day, which probably don't correspond with when I'm taking a shower. So I replaced the timer with a Wise Smart Plug. I got two of them from Amazon for about $20. Uh, handles up to 15 amp, which is definitely adequate for this uh, pump. Now here's the beauty though, with the Wise app, I set it up so after it's activated, it automatically turns off after 15 minutes or whatever time you prefer, but 15 was my sweet spot. Alexa, shower time. And it's automatically set to turn off in 15 minutes. So no worries, no concerns that it's going to be running a bunch of time when I really don't need it. And less wear and tear on the pump. And less wasted electricity. So there's the wise plug. And there's a Grandfos comfort system pump.